This footage will take you through the various technical aspects of Onimusha 3, Demon Siege. This time, the game takes place in both ancient Japan and modern France. Here we'll introduce the making of the beautiful backgrounds that the Onimusha series is known for. This game marks the introduction of fully polygonal environments into the Onimusha world and helps to make the game more interactive. Backgrounds are made up of polygons, elements that make up the shapes of objects and textures, elements that give objects color and depth. Texturing and lighting are added, making the backgrounds complete. Completed background models are loaded into the PlayStation 2, and the necessary special effects are layered on top. The source material for these effects may include real video footage, hand-drawn images, or images created with special CG effects. Recreating natural phenomenon is a difficult task, requiring not only an artistic sense, but also an understanding of physics. Onimusha 3 Demon Siege is capable of having approximately seven times as many characters on screen as before. In fact, there are times in the game when there are as many as 50 characters being displayed. This game uses a system called Level of Detail, or LOD, to make it all possible. LOD toggles the character display model depending on the distance from the camera, lightening the burden on processing functions by eliminating unnecessary drawing operations. Each character has two separate 3D models, high and low, and the game's program determines which model to display. Moving further away from the camera switches the model to a rougher version, and the processor load saved can be used to add more characters on screen. This technique is what makes these many large-scale battles possible. The simulations have also undergone a huge evolution. In Onimusha 3 Demon Siege, advanced simulators on each character are used for things like hair, clothing, and other small objects. All of this is controlled by special programs written by the in-house team, and it plays a big role in making the game look as realistic as it does. There is also an advanced program controlling the water effects, processing and calculating a number of factors in real time, such as transparency, wave motion, light refraction and sheen, and reflections of the surroundings. With the increased freedom to move the camera in true 3D, the director can give the cutscenes an even more movie-like feel. Here we see the motion capture process at work. The actors' movements are translated to the in-game characters and are combined with dramatic camera work to give the story more depth. Unlike a sword, the whips that Jacques uses are flexible and can be used to squeeze, grab, and shoot his enemies for a variety of attack combinations.
The dynamic action is captured at 60 frames per second. The smooth movements are then manipulated by the motion design team. With superb editing features, the software technology literally lets the animation team's imagination run wild. The conclusion of this landmark Onimusha trilogy is grand indeed. It is the collaboration of an all-star cast of industry gurus and two top-notch movie stars, Takeshi Kaneshiro and Jean Reno. The result is an unprecedented video game achievement, an achievement that you will simply have to play to believe. Two heroes, one destiny. Onimusha 3, Demon Siege, only from Capcom.